Demons are not fallen angels principalities. They all work for the same kingdom but they are different. Demons are spirits which came out after destruction, death, of the giants which were born when some angels fell from heaven and married daughters of men as recorded in Genesis 6, 4, which reads as follows, There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. These spirits are evil in that they were not created by God neither did God create a way for them to be redeemed. They roam the earth seeking for host bodies to inhabit and Satan uses them as instruments of destruction and oppression. If you don't repent and be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, then after death and judgment, your spirit will end up being an evil spirit and God won't give it a new body which is what resurrection is about. In Matthew 12 43-45 Jesus said, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Read the book of Jasher and see how these spirits started oppressing men by causing diseases and abnormalities after the floods of Noah. Don't shy from reading these books for even the Bible quotes from the book of Jasher in Joshua 10.13 where it says, And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. The Bible again refers to the book of Jasher in 2 Samuel 1.18 which reads as follows. Also he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow, behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. Read the book of Enoch 2, Jude quoted from it in Jude 1.14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. These books were reverenced by the early church but were outlawed by the fake church of men because they don't make sense to someone without guidance of the Holy Spirit neither did Satan want people to come to true knowledge of God. I have written what the Lord has taught me and not what is commonly taught or perceived to be the truth. Wind or air is two-dimensional while radiation, infrared, radio waves, x-rays, phone signals etc. are one-dimensional. There is the underworld, lower dimension, and higher places, higher dimensions, our battle is however not against the inferior underworld but against beings in high places in which we are incapable of defeating without the help of the one who is above all, who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Demons need a host body in order to act in the physical unlike angels who are higher dimensional beings. Satan has managed to deceive many into focusing on the underworld while he rules the world unnoticed from high places. Ephesians 6 13 Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. May our gracious, merciful Lord Jesus Christ bless, enlighten and open the eyes of all who sincerely love him that they may not continue in deception any longer. Amen and Amen.